Now we have a speaker from Poland, the first this afternoon. His name is Artur Kurasiński. He's the founder and CEO of Focus, which is very similar in Polish and English. Focus in Polish, focus in English. Uh, it's a smarter analytics tool, getfocus.com. Uh, entrepreneur focused on supporting and investing in technology projects at an early stage of the development. Mentor, blogger, and active commentator of the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, Artur Kwasiński. Bravo. Thank you. Hi, everybody. How are you? Are you looking for a good fun tonight? Uh, thank you for, for, the, for the introduction. Actually, um, right now we should be at my, at my company because we had a problem and we, we got lots of things to do. Well, actually, I, uh, I'm a person. Oh, yeah, the clicker kind of needed. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I promised to my coworkers that I'll be very, very quick because I have to really, we really have to go. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you something about the data because all of us are very deep into the startup things. You know, we are just very excited about new applications, about new gadgets, about new things, about new, you know, all those things connected with the with the with the internet. Actually, of course, Internet of Things, the other the other buzzword. But everything is connected via information, data, via bytes, via little things like going through the or going through bandwidth, and they are like moving us. They are like you know getting the information from point one to point from point A to point, point, point Z. And that's a problem because in many cases we forget about the how the data is important to our business, to ourselves. And I'm going to tell you something about the data. How, why we fear, maybe I'll be able to uh, answer the question why we fear, why we hate analyzed data. Okay, a few words about me as, as a... As a as this very gentle guy uh, told you before, I am a CEO and co-founder of Focus. We, for like 12 months right now, we're trying to squeeze as much data as we can from social media, from uh, your web pages, and we're trying to push it and trying to make sense of, of, of this information. It's, it's very hard. I'm also a blogger. I run this uh, little thing called blog for seven years. It's very frustrating because... Uh, Right now, I'm see that the guy who started blogging yesterday is it's, you know the the newest thing in the in the village. But okay, I will try to do it anyway. Uh, I work for many Polish companies. Actually, of course, the companies from abroad. This is like the uh, the quick uh, quick quick uh, spotlight on on uh, on the on the on, on the uh, all these um, uh, logos. But what I'm trying to do is uh, to tell you exactly that everybody, every company, which the logo is here, it's somehow connected with the internet. It somehow is using internet, it's processing the data, it's using the data, and of course it should be also the uh, analyzing the data. Okay, so Eric Schmidt said a couple of years ago that every two days we create as much information as we did up to 2003. And this it's, it gives you a bump goose because when you realize that we actually, even sitting here, even that we are trying or pretending that, we are, that you guys are listening to me, uh, you are broadcasting information, your gadgets, your smartphones, tablets, your tablets, your laptops, whatever, you are actually guys are broadcasting uh, persons. And those information are going to the servers, uh, are connected to, to other servers, other social media networks, platforms, whatever. So. This is like the time in our history when we are not only the receivers, but also, also we are broadcasters. And that's, that, that's the fact. And second thing is, you cannot fix what you can measure. Many people told me that they have a problem. Actually, they approach to focus and are uh, asking us to help them. And that's a problem because we are asking a very simple question, one and basic simple question. Are you guys using, for example, Google Analytics? And the answer is, of course we are. Second question is how are you, how good are you? I mean, like, do you understand how complex is this tool? Well, actually, what you guys do when you just log in into your uh, Google Analytics um, uh, dashboard? So we looking at the numbers of uh, let's say the uh, unique users and the uh, web pages. I mean, the, the views web pages. Uh, so w w what's what's under? Are, are you like just just looking at the giving a glance of this information? Or are you going deeply? No, just looking on the information. So there's like typical customer, uh, even from the big 
uh, Polish industry, big Polish uh, e-commerce industry, uh, they do not understand the data they have. They are like floating with the data. They like choking with the data. They just, just don't analyze the data and just don't understand why this is like very powerful tool, uh, why you should, why you should understand uh, and, and, and organize the data. Uh, that's the snapshot for the um, screen uh, kind of a uh, frozen frame for the internet. I took this uh, picture like, I mean like two, two days ago. I think these this numbers went up for, for sure. It's like the dashboard of the internet. It's like simple web, pa web page. You can go there and see how many information, how much data, how much pictures, tweets, uh, posts, status on Facebook is is uh, like producing right now. And that's also uh, a picture and 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 the, the, the status of the of the of our age. We are still have very big potential to produce the data. And that's something that we, we should know and have something is, uh, inside our mi minds and brains when you're trying to understand what, how complex is this problem. So to, to just give you an example, how fast are we going? This is the time when the percentage of household penetration in states for consumer electronics products uh, went up, up to 50%. So in 1931, in states, radio, the guy, people, the, uh, the uh, households were using data, were using the radio uh, very, let's say, the, in a massive scale. Uh, the same was with the color TV in 74, 72, the computer 96, 96, email 2007. And when we're talking about the smartphones, we're talking about 2012. So two years ago, smartphones uh, the, 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 the number of smartphones among the, uh, the American households um, uh, beat the 50%. Uh, social media was the same. So this is accelerating. This is like very fast, uh, moving in the fast thing. And what about the mobile, right? We're talking about the, the massive scale of mobile in, uh, in information. We're talking about the other screens. We're talking about tablets. We're talking about bending iPhones. We're talking about new kind of, uh, of devices that we're creating here. We're talking about smart TVs, right? We're talking about the producers like Samsung trying to push the new product because it's a new fascinating things, but they have to sell it. Uh, we're talking about the wearables. We're talking about the gadgets that we can put on our wrist. We can uh, quantify self. We can read out some information. We're talking about the games. This is also the source of information. This is also information for us, for marketers, for people behind the marketer's desk. We're talking about virtual reality. Uh, this is like the newest baby from, from Mark Zuckerberg's table. Uh, this, all these branches, all this information, they're coming from the devices, and we, we, we can even suppose that in the next five years, there will be like more of the devices, more of the source of information, more, more touch points. So is the data really so important? Let's look at the Gartner's uh, uh, chart. This is where we are right now. Uh, right, right now, when we're talking about the uh, well, speech to, uh, to persuasion, we are talking about data science. They, those are things that have to, about to come. This is the like Internet of Things. We all heard about the Internet of Things, about beacons, about how good Polish industry is good at that. Okay, this is like on the top. But actually, we are, we are trying to... We are trying to understand what's going on with the quantum computing. We're going to um, accept the fact that lots of people are, will be developing something connected with this 3D bio printing system. There's like lots of lots of data to to come. Okay, the, just to show you the power of data. Have you guys seen this movie? How many people seen this movie? Brad Pitt, Moneyball. Okay, just give you a just. Two of three words of uh, um, explanation. In this movie, uh, the Brad Pitt played the role of uh, general manager of the uh, basketball team. The guy was broke. The, let's say the team was broke, and his task was to build a very strong team for the next season. And what the, what did uh, the Brad Pitt did? He just take the information, the charts, the the output of information, and he said, "We don't need the A players." We need successful players. We need efficient players. And he built, uh, it's, it's based on true facts, so I'm not just kidding. So he built a team for like a couple of seasons, very successful team. Another example, 
the guy is uh, part uh, Hungarian, part, part Romanian. He's called Albert Laszlo Barabasi. He's a mathematician slash physician. He is a guy, he was uh, asked to just try to predict some information, try to, try to uh, gather some information from telecom and um, answer a simple question. When this simple, uh, let's say, person will be present in the next few days. And he has only got the information about the, the past. So the first information was, for example, I was two days ago near the rotunda, near the center of Warsaw. And the question is where I'll be in the next two, two or three days. And what's your guess? How accurate was this guy? Uh, uh, having only the information about geolocalization. What's your guess? 90%? Okay. Okay. Close. 93. Let's think for a while. The guy has only the information about our past. He doesn't have anything to do with our tweets, our status, our check-ins our social media platforms, none. He was only about, about to suck up the information from telecom, analyze this, and, and give an output, telling this guy will be present in this, in this part of the city with the accuracy of 93%. That's scary shit. If this, uh, for example, uh, you know Mark Anderson, very famous person from Silicon Valley, uh, he said his software is, the, the software is eating the world. So it means that a lot of new uh, branches, a lot of new things is coming with the potential and a need of having the, uh, the having the, the internet, having the something connected with the software. And I'm saying if the software is eating the world, the, then the calories, the details are calories. It's a fundamental thing. We have to know exactly anything and everything about our 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 company because we have information and we have to be very aware of this problem. We have information, we have data, we have to start analyze it. Free advice, if you want to become the next one billion dollar company, startup company, you must be a data-driven company. You have to understand and you have to be pretty sure that part of your company, it's not the graphical design department, it's not the growth hacking design department, whatever it means and whatever you guys can do with that. You have to have a guy who maybe will, will, will be like data scientist, or maybe you will be like guy with a bright mind sitting here or in your office and analyzing all your data. And this guy will be the most important person in your company and have to be the most important person in your company because otherwise your guys will be out of the business. Do you guys recognize those three companies? Uber, Target, and Shazam. What is Uber? What Uber does? Uber is transporting people from point A to point Z, right? It's picking up in the street, or you can hail, you can, you, can, you, can, uh, you can use your application, right? And the Uber will give you a lift. Hi. Uh, okay, the second company is called Target, right? The, the company is responsible for selling uh, things online. It's a marketplace. And the third company is uh, Shazam. It's a discovery music application. So in a uh, in simple way, we, we can discuss that those Three companies are pretty pretty boring, and we all know already about them. Actually, Uber is not about the transporting people. Uber is about creating algorithm because in the future there will be no taxi drivers. There will be like automatic automatic cars, self-driving cars produced by Google because Google is a big investor in in, in Uber. In Target, there was like funny story two years ago. Uh, the girl purchased something online. And she was like about to, uh, I don't know, I don't remember exactly, it was like napkins or whatever. But the algorithm created by Target tell the, the uh, let's say, the dispatchers in the, in the, in the company to put, uh, to put something con connected with the pregnancy. And the, when the package arrived at the home, the father of this poor little girl discovered that, uh, among other things in the package, there was like pregnancy test. And he was furious. Uh, and he he jumped on the phone and he was very very uh, very angry about this problem because he thought that it was completely misunderstanding. The truth was very very simple. The guy the, she was expecting, but she didn't does didn't know that. But the algorithm detected and put some new things in her in her in her pocket. Uh, and the third third company uh, called Shazam 
in the beginning, there was like very simple task. What's the music playing in background? I don't know, so I can take out my smartphone, I can activate the application and you say, okay, it was like Maroon 5, uh, whatever, right? And right now, those guys, like, they are like beasts in the market. They, are, they have lots of information. So they create, with, among with the uh, Warner uh, music, they create uh, their own re record label. They are producing and they are looking, they are scouting for new talents because they know when and how the music is viral. And they know, pretty, they, they know it because the uh, guys are on the market are using the, the application. So if it's, for example, it's something is very popular, some hit is very, um, people have discovered this hit in, the, in Warsaw, this will be the next, let's say, hit for, like, for, for summer. Uh, this is like funny thing because yesterday I was sitting pre preparing the presentation. I was trying to come up with the idea how many new jobs, how many new you know guys in the future will be like not startup CEO, but for example personal digital curate, right? Or maybe data scientist, which is of course um, pretty pretty wide even for now. Or maybe privacy manager, right? Will be like have this uh, digital death concierge, which of course it's not very funny because uh, after our let's say, uh, death, somebody will have to take responsibility for our data. Imagine, in like next 20 years, we'll be, you will be producing like petabytes of information. And you, you will be, after your death, uh, actually a, a closed case, because without logins, without uh, access to your data, there's like nobody will be able to, to suck, uh, extract the information. So there will be a guy, and I know that there's a guy in, in the Facebook right now, responsible, so-called undertaker, responsible for the uh, extracting information. Uh, so this like no, there's no future, it's like it's happening, it's just like more like present. Okay, uh, so why, for, for, for real, why we hate analyze data? Because it's too complicated, right? When we look at the, all the systems, all the algorithms, all the, uh, the you know, big gadgets that we carry on, and uh, this is like completely you know, eight hours a day to, to analyze a simple case. So we, we don't want it because it's too complicated, it looks shitty and it's, it's sometimes it doesn't work. We hate analyze data because we are much like the, the PC guy when he's trying to do that and we actually want it to be more creative, more young, you know, more, more hipster. So we choose to be a Mac guy. But the truth is we have to be the PC guy then to become the, the, the Mac guy, because without the solid fundament, without having the information, the basic information, our business will be, will be lost. Okay, what about the problems with the analyzing and gathering information? Many problems. Who will you watch the watchers? If I will be responsible for company analyzing your data, I will have the unlimited access to your data, to your files, information, even the very private things. Is it okay for you? Of course not. So we don't trust banks, we don't trust Facebook, we don't trust Google. What about the silos, World Garden, like for example, Apple. Apple is very World Garden business. Uh, big players are big. Try to compete with, uh, with Facebook right now or maybe Google. Information bubble. Have you heard about uh, information bubble? It's a very, very pretty nasty thing. When you're looking something uh, online, for example, you're searching for like new model of, of Honda, and I'm doing the same on the computer next to, to yours, will the, uh, the, uh, the output will be completely different. Why? Because Google, because other system, other platforms knows, for example, them from Warsaw, my salary hours, my, 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 I have like two kids, I'm living, uh, I'm planning to, to go to, to Greece on the next vacation. So, Everything is quantified and all the system knows exactly what we are trying to find and they are presenting us completely different information. So this can be a problem because we can sit in the same coffee shop and searching the net, searching the same web pages and have completely different results. Uh, who has my data, right? Banks, Google, Facebook, uh, KRS, other, other government ag agendas, we don't know. And we even cannot find it. We cannot ask because there's like no person responsible for that uh, uh, from, 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 from government. We need curators because we have lots of data. We need people, algorithms, systems to help us filter the, the unnecessary information. And one last thing. Uh, you have to ask yourself very one simple question. Uh, do my company, do my startup, do I'm ready 
for competing with the data-driven companies. If not, stay low, do not stand up because the, the next KO will be your, your last. So this is uh, my view of what you guys should do next after leaving this room. Come to, to your IT department, ask them about how many information you have, how much information you can you can uh, you can you can gather for like a couple of uh, last months, and try to understand what's going on. Because many answers to your questions uh, about conversion rate in your in your online store, about how many people are going to buy my new product, how many people are willing to buy my application, is there. Uh, answers are there, but you have to do one simple question. Go there and ask for for the information. Uh, I'm, I'm not kidding. The guys who will like be responsible for the data information, for managing data uh, in, in companies, for like uh, trying to for building new new universe, will be the the, the winners. And it's like I cannot imagine the next two, three, five, ten billion dollars company right now without solid fundamentals and without access to to the vast information of of connected with the with the uh, data in your company. So thank you very much. Have a good time. <laughs>